energy vibration reading for the Pisces Sun Moon Horizon sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Please remember to like and share. It's subscribe. Please subscribe, all you Pisces. Um, this is the first week of October, and in this week, um, the week begins from the first until the seventh. I want to say thank you to each and every person. Thank you for your wonderful um, shares and like. Um, please remember that full moon reading is coming out on the 15th of each month so you can also connect with that because there's gonna come out a lot of information please leave a message about how you find this reading I'm here but you can't see my face but you're gonna but see the cards so I'm changing up the readings okay so um, don't forget please like and share this is the month where you can manifest what your dreams into reality so let's look what is happening I'm seeing for a house situation or work situation the energy of the Sun is here so there's positive energy that is going to come in a work situation or your own situation on Monday you have the two of Pentacles in reverse you have made a decision about a situation on Tuesday um, you have win a battle whatever that battle was you win a battle victory and success I just said you win a battle yes you have win a battle and um, against the Queen of Swords um, you're going to be victorious against the Queen of Swords okay um, wonderful energies okay whatever is happening some of you had to deal had an legal uh, it could be an legal or conflicts with someone who is an Aquarius Gemini a Libra and you are going to be winning this some of you feel out in the cold, um, feel left out in the cold, um, and the energy of the lovers come in. Um, you you both have won this battle and have a victory, and you're moving on. You're going to decide on Sunday to leave a situation behind that has to do with um, the Queen of Swords. Okay, whoever this Queen of Swords is. Um, you're going to decide to walk away turn your back move away from this person okay so let's look and see what is happening you're going to be receiving a lot of offers um, offers in work but also offers in financial stability some of you are just holding on to what you have some of you are really really holding on to what you have there's a lot of office that is going to be coming out and I see money coming in okay so um, most of you are uh, working on um, to balance out your financial stability okay so you Pisces what is happening um, you Pisces are basically make decision whatever the decision is um, you decide I'm no longer out in the cold I'm gonna win this battle so you Pisces have a battle that you have been fought in for a very long time and you are going to be winning this battle I'm seeing you win in this battle and whoever you were fighting against you have three swords and um, they have lost the battle okay you are overcoming the situation and it has to do with some of you who were in relationship with um, someone who is uh, a Aquarius Gemini or Libra you have win this battle and you decide to move away from this person this could be um, this could be someone who you were married to and whatever the situation is you're deciding to turn your back because here you win the battle you're moving away from this Queen of Swords so this could be someone who was your wife um, and you're ending this marriage you decided that you're moving away and you're moving on and it's away from her so um, some of you or deciding to end your marriage in this week with someone who is an Aquarius Gemini or Libra whoever this person is um, the love isn't there anymore and you decide to move on you have already made the decision because here it is the the two of Pentacles in um, mean that you have already uh, made this decision you feel left out in the coal by the princess of Pentacles but don't be okay you feel left out in the cold by the princess of Pentacles but don't be you know don't be whatever it is don't be 
um, there was some cruelty that has happened to her um, and uh, um, but she has won the battle there was some cruelty that has happened to her but she has won the battle it has to do with someone who is an Aquarius Gemini or Libra okay so um, don't be left out I don't know if this is the person that you're leaving your wife for oh my god the Prince of sword um, what's happening um, with you guys so mm, okay let's see what else is going on the Prince of Swords <laughs> God have mercy you're seeing the truth of a situation mm. Mm -mm -mm. okay <laughs> oh there's a lot in this week whatever is happening um, some of you who are in relationship with the Aquarians Gemini or Libra um, you are ending this you're ending this because you have realized that um, whoever this person is because I'm seeing both of and never put two air signs together never get them together because whatever is happening um, you're gonna overcome this because you have you're dealing with a man that is an air sign some of you and you and some of you are dealing with a woman that is an air sign this has nothing to do with justice it has something to do with some of you were in a relationship with someone and you're um, you're in you know there was a battle you have a battle um, whether with your wife or in a relationship with someone there was a battle and you're ending this battle you can see that you have won this battle and you're getting over um, whatever the situation is is that you feel left out in the cold by someone who you care about but this person is not leaving you out in the cold this person is basically they have to find their way out okay you're walking away because you feel left out in the cold by someone who is the princess of Pentacles, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. What I'm seeing here is that you're walking away from this Queen of uh, um, Sword woman. Most of you are leaving relationship that you have to deal with Aquarians, and especially this Queen of Sword, whoever she is, you're just walking away from her. She, they're all over the place. So you guys really have a week to do with these air sign people. Some luck is going to be coming in for um, you and the Princess of Pentacles. Some luck is going to be coming in. There is a new start that is going to be coming up. Um, a positive new start. And um, the energy of the rat. You're going to overcome what the decision was. A new contract is going to be coming in. A, a new uh, start for a relationship with someone else. You're going to be seeing the truth of the situation that um, whoever this um, relationship with these air sign people um, you're walking away from it you're ending it you're walking away from it no more you will have to do with your air sign people no more um, the princess of Pentacles okay there's a contract that is coming up there's some luck with a new start there is some luck with a new star. Who is this? Um, Princess of Pentacles. And why do you feel so in the cold? But there's some luck that is coming up. There is luck, some luck that is coming up. There's going to be a solution for this Princess of Pentacles. Okay. There is going to be some solution. There's some health problems. Um, whoever that person is, they care about you. It's just that they need to resolve some situation um, there's a new offer a new contract that is coming up for you okay do not feel left out in the cold by this
princess of pentacles she needs to resolve some situations for herself okay she is trying to resolve some situation and what I'm seeing is not it's not only the princess of pentacles the queen of pentacles some of you feel left out by the queen of pentacles which is Taurus Virgo or Capricorn now and you know she is not leaving you out in the cold um, it is a karmatic situation she is dealing with a karmatic situation that she has to resolve is she's never going to leave you out in the cold <clears throat> that's not a tar that's not a, um, a, a Taurus or Virgo person because they're always there for you it's just that you are dealing with your karmatic shit and she is dealing with her karmatic shit okay there's a lot of office that is going to be coming in whatever is the connection between you guys and the Taurus and Virgo and Capricorn people do not give up on them it's just that whatever you're going through if you're not talking to them letting them know what is happening they can't figure it out for you or help you because you're not saying anything you're closing up and you're not saying anything whoever is this Queen of Swords you need to get away from her because this is an unhealthy relationship this is eating on you and you need to get away from this queen of swords because it's an unhealthy relationship okay there's something that has been stolen okay let's look and see um what is happening let's um wrap the screen um what is happening a rat is here okay so whatever is happening um because I'm seeing that this queen had stolen something but it's gonna come out and uh, um, there's a contract that came to you and this queen has stolen um, or there is a, a letter that came and this queen has stolen but the truth is going to be coming out okay and you're going to be receiving that invitation whoever this person is at stolen something from you but you're going to be um, receiving it okay so a movement a whole lot of movement is going to be happening for you Pisces um, um, a whole lot of movement for you Pisces are going to be happening um, in this week is a week of movement I'm seeing a lot of office coming up for you spike um, Pisces so not to worry a lot of office is coming in for you Pisces so I want to say to you guys thank you for being here namaste until next time